I want to quickly talk to you about Unbounce versus Instapage versus Wix. Of course, we are speaking about landing page builders, okay? So here is a glance into uh, this three uh, comparative analysis, this three-way comparative analysis. I want to start with Unbounce. So when you think about Unbounce, I want you to think about uh, one of the OGs, if you will, when it comes to a landing page building. But Unbounce is way more than that. So if you own an online business, affiliate site, or a blog that you're hoping to monetize, chances are that you are going to build a landing page or two or three or four. And uh, Unbounce really helps you in terms of scalability. So the, the platform is really great when it comes to efficiency, but also scalability. And also uh, the platform adds an extra layer of creativity. So in other words, you have a drag and drop uh, process that allows you to build your landing page a lot faster. So this is really good. So Unbounce remains one of the best easy to use landing page builders that we have actually uh, investigated. And uh, Unbounce is really great in terms also in terms of uh, monetizing your landing page. So if you're selling, if you're trying to really sell a product or you're trying to sell a service, Unbounce, Unbounce landing pages are really great. And uh, Unbounce remains a landing page builder for WordPress. So while it doesn't have the secondary features that users have come to expect from uh, their SaaS products, it does create beautiful, high converting landing pages for a variety of purposes. That's what we love a lot. We love the uh, variety of purposes that you can have with uh, Unbounce. And uh, so that's really, that's really cool. So what are the pros and cons of uh, Unbounce here? So pros, you have an ever growing list of templates for a wide area of uh, applications. The tool itself is very easy to use. Pages are mobile responsive out of the box. We love that a lot. And you have several advanced AI features. What are the cons here? There is no split testing at the lowest plan. You have minimal customer support and training and Unbounce remains more expensive than competitors prices. And uh, you don't have as many templates as other landing page builders. So this is something to really think about. If you are, if you want to go with Unbounce, you got to be really clear here. So when we talk about the, the features, the Unbounce features list is extensive by design. And so this is really good. So you have a drag and drop builder. So you don't have to learn coding or anything. So by a drag and drop builder, I'm talking about you having things like page sections, text boxes, sticky bars, CTA buttons, and even pop-ups. And you can really get things done with even a, with a few clicks. You have templates, you have a A-B testing at a very high level, you have integrations, and you have a, a wonderful support team. That's just fantastic. Let's talk about the pricing here. You can see on the screen here, here is the pricing for Unbounce as of the date of this show. You can see that Unbounce is not really cheap. So Unbounce is really cool for all kinds of uh, revenue uh, optimization models, but uh, you have to really generate a certain level of revenue first. So you have the build, the experiment, the optimize, and the concierge. I mean, the concierge is really uh, where you get everything. You get all the, all the capabilities that you wanna have with uh, Unbounce. Now the cheapest the cheapest plan as you can see remains the build right and uh, so build actually uh, is a uh, really uh, asking you to have a, a landing page builder you have unlimited landing pages pop ups and sticky bars but the limits actually uh, is around the number of conversions so this is very important to keep in mind and unbounce actually uh, works in a very simple way so setting up your first landing page is a snap all you need to do after you sign up is head into the dashboard and select a template. So you have a choice of either using a pre-made template, or if you want to create a landing page from scratch, you can also choose a blank page, not a problem. So, and from there, you have complete freedom to customize different elements, background image, text, other images, buttons, and colors. And uh, the drag and drop builder makes it very easy, but it's worth playing around to get comfortable with the interface. And so there's no uh, learning curve, but there is a, a slight element to really think about. So when we talk about the Unbounce, what we love is that you have a constellation of uh, mobile responsive pages. So every landing page is optimized for mobile right out the box. So you don't need to do anything special to adjust, to, uh, to adjust the page to make it work on smartphones or tablets. You have a, a tool that's e-commerce friendly very easy to use you have artificial intelligence features so 
AI features are really great. So you have Smart Traffic and Smart Builder are actually game changers in the landing page world. So these two features alone should justify the price point in our view. And you also have integrations and security. So with over 100 integrations, basically with the most popular software services and strong native security, Unbounce makes a point of keeping your landing pages efficient. So that's really cool. So overall, what we love about Unbounce is that we love the flexibility, but they have to work on their support, the customer support. Right now, Unbounce has poor customer support. That's really a problem. So if you have issues with your landing pages, it can be difficult to reach Unbounce. But once you do, it may take even longer to receive a response. So this is difficult for people just starting out with digital marketing and landing pages in general. Let me talk to you now about Instapage. So when you think about Instapage, I want you to think about a, a, your, your core landing page builder, very powerful landing page builder. And the question is, what do you want to do with Instapage? You can do everything with Instapage. So basically, if you're if you are looking for SEO strategy, if you're a solopreneur, if you're an agency, if you're a small business owner, if you're a large corporation, you can use Instapage for your landing page building, not a problem. So this is really good. So what we love about Instapage is that we love the fact that it's very easy to use, okay? You have a tool that's really fantastic. Let me talk to you about the pros and cons so you have a clear idea of what I'm talking about here. So with Instapage, you have a, a genuine drag and drop page creation. You have a drag and drop builder, which is really robust and easy to use. You have a good number of mobile responsive uh, templates, kind of similar to uh, Unbounce, even though with Instapage, you have way more, way more templates. The templates are high quality and uh, usable. Collaboration tools are great for teams and our client work. And you have a powerful analytics and split testing. So that's really cool. So those are, this is a non-exhaustive list of uh, the pros that come with uh, Instapage. What about the cons? The price features and benefits are great, but not cheap. No A-B testing in the starter plan. This is kind of similar to uh, what Unbounce is also doing. The A-B testing is not really in the starter plan and the widget list needs expanding. So this is what it is now. Instapage is really uh, easy to use. For us, this was really important. So uh, basically, the whole thing with Instapage turns out to be very straightforward, very easy. Okay, so you don't need to really spend a lot of uh, hours to learn um, to learn uh, Instapage. And uh, we also love the fact that in terms of UX and UI, the those two metrics are pretty positive. The dashboard layout and uh, the dashboard layout is pretty straightforward. General navigation is really a straightforward as well. The interface is simple and uncluttered. We love that. You will not waste time simply trying to get around. So when you first signing, you'll have a few a, a few questions to answer, and you can really just uh, get get going actually uh, pretty fast. And uh, so we also love the fact that the Insta page has has a pre-built templates that are high quality and they are actually usable. And this is kind of cool. And the, the software itself is uh, exceptionally good. It's really robust. We love that. And you have the ability also to uh, do A-B testing if you are in the higher plane with uh, with the Insta page. So that's really cool to start with. Let's talk about pricing here. So when we talk about Instapage, first of all, you can see on the screen, we love the fact that with Instapage, you have transparency, right? So they only have two, two tiers. They have the build and they have the convert. The convert is customized. The build is $199 per month. You can see that not a lot of uh, small businesses can afford $199 per month. So you gotta be in a specific uh, situation to be able to afford Instapage. Instapage appears more uh, more expensive than Unbounce if you look at the price the pricing only right so 199 and the customized I mean the the convert pricing model will be way more than 199 so it can go all the way to 5000 so when we when we think about Instapage you have to really think about what you want to have okay and it's one of those things where by the way the 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 building plan is 199 dollars per month if paid annually and $2.99 per month if paid monthly. So that's kind of important. So if you want to uh, really save a lot of cash, you want to actually pay annually. 
Now the converting plan actually uh, here, the, the pricing is tailored to your needs. So Instapage is not cheap. So it is high quality without a doubt, but if you're not running PPC campaigns, we're not really sure that you can really see the added value there. And if you care about customer care, this is something that is important. And so Instapage uh, customer service is actually uh, pretty good. I mean, at that price, that's what we're, we're expecting. So basically, uh, if you go to the help center FAQs, pretty straightforward, pretty, uh, pretty clear, pretty uh, detailed, and this is really good. And uh, basically, uh, if you submit a couple of support tickets, they will uh, re they will, res they will uh, respond to you a lot faster. So this is really good. I mean, we have seen when we tested the service, we actually got responses on the same day. So that's really good. And uh, and if you want to cancel your accounts, the uh, the, the account cancellation is really uh, straightforward. Also, they're not trying to they're not playing games with you. So it is what it is. So think about Instapage as a as a like high quality premium landing page builder and uh you have to be in a certain situation to actually use instapage for example if you are an agency if you're a digital marketer if you're running ppc campaigns if you have volume then you really could use uh, instapage because then the roi is there otherwise uh, you would just uh, have to uh, go with a, another uh, player so instapage actually uh overall is a great is a great player but as long as you you have the the, the cost if not you can try other landing page builders. For example, Wix that I'm gonna review next. You have Unbounce that I already reviewed. You have Get Response. You have a Thrive Architect. You have Wishpond. So Thrive Architect, for instance, is a good Word WordPress plugin solution. Really fantastic. Let's talk about Wix. So when you think about Wix, Wix is not primarily a landing page builder. So Wix does way more. So Wix is a website builder. So basically they do website building, they do a landing page building, they do uh, all kinds of stuff. What we love about Wix is that you have a, you have a service that offers unmatched website features, a large library of stunning templates, and a very easy to use editor. So because of this, Wix caters to a broad audience, helping users create portfolios as well as online stores. So Wix is not just a, if you think about Instapage, Think about a landing page. If you think about Unbounce, think about landing page. If you think about Wix, think about landing page and everything else. So let's really dig a little deeper here. When we think about Wix, we actually recommend this service for simple sites like portfolios, as well as small businesses looking to build a brand online and sell a few products thanks to a Wix's diverse range of features and e-commerce tools. Now, we do not recommend Wix for very large online stores due to the limited scalability or niche websites that might benefit from a platform with more dedicated features for the industry. Let's talk about the pros and cons of uh, Wix so you have a clear idea what, I, what I'm speaking about. Let's talk about the pros first. Right off the bat, you have a drag and drop editor, which really grants you total creative control and the ability to design a website, a landing page, or any other any other platform no matter your skill level you have a nearly 1000 professionally designed templates for a diverse range of industries and website needs including landing page needs you have ai tools to help with onboarding designing your websites your landing page content creation email marketing and more you have personalized seo tools so you can optimize your site for search engines and drive more traffic to your pages. You have uh, e-commerce functionality to support small businesses looking to get online. And you can get started with Wix's free plan to help you feel confident with using Wix before upgrading. What about the cons here? So when you think about Wix, Wix offers a vast assortment of features and tools to help you get and grow online. But it can be a lot to wrap your head around, especially if you're a beginner to uh, website building. You have unlimited storage space. This is only available though on Wix's most expensive plan. And uh, so despite the ability to customize your site completely, Wix doesn't let you swap your chosen template once your website is live. And in terms of landing page, Wix is kind of limited. And Wix, Wix's plans are more expensive than alternative website builders such as GoDaddy or, or Shopify for that matter. So something to really think about.
I want to talk to you now about the uh, the pricing. So you can see on the screen here, here, here is the pricing for Wix as of the date of this show. So you have the business elite, you have the business, you have the core, and you have the light. So basically, Wix really depends upon what kind of a strategy you have. So the light is for simple informational sites and also landing pages. And, and you have the free plan. The free plan, they do not publish the free plan online now, but the free plan is best for testing due to the limited features and ads. The core is great to accept payments and start selling online and also building your landing pages. And then you have uh, the business. The business is for growing small businesses and uh, business elite is for successful online stores. Now you will need the core plan to the core plan or above to unlock e-commerce features. The business plan is a good plan to choose if you are looking to grow your business since it really provides additional features like product reviews and the ability to sell in multiple currencies. And it's really a steep jump between the business and the business elite plans though, from $32 all the way to $159 per month. So it can be really difficult to scale your business. It can be difficult to scale your business steadily. And uh, so this is kind of, but th this set is kind of similar to Shopify's pricing structure. So this is really what it is because the next step from the $79 per month Shopify plan is it's $299 per month advanced plan. So it's not that really unusual in the website builder industry. But this is kind of uh, important to really think about. Wix is uh, okay with designing. So when building your websites, when building your landing page, Wix actually has uh, nearly 1,000 templates that you can really, uh, you can you can avail yourself of in terms of your design efforts, okay? In terms of SEO, fantastic. SEO can be important in terms of uh, really driving traffic to your landing page, that's for sure. And uh, Wix does a great job there. And Wix also has a, a suite of AI tools. We love that a lot. So you have color schemes, page sections, content generation. You have SEO. They actually introduced uh, the AI meta tech creator at the end of last year, which really creates meta titles and descriptions for you, helping uh, users tackle SEO best practices. You have image editing, you have email marketing, you have website analytics. That's really cool. And you also have uh, Wix has a, a great app market that can really help you there. Fantastic. And what we love about the Wix also is that we love the fact that they have a 24 seven phone support, live chat available Monday through Friday between 2 a.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn. You have a help center full of guides on topics such as contacting Wix or connecting a domain or promoting a site. You have an SEO learning hub, Wix learning community forum support within the editor. So you have a lot of possibilities when it comes to uh, getting customer support. So, when we talk about Unbounce versus Instapage versus Wix, which one should you go for? Before I actually uh, break it down for you, it's important to really have a clear idea about the things you should look for in a landing page builder. So if you are looking for a landing page builder, you want to look for professional optimized templates. Because the whole point of using a landing page builder over hiring a web designer or doing it yourself is the ease of use superior ROI and guarantee of a professional and end result. So unless a builder offers landing page templates, which are visually appealing and a tool which makes it easy to edit them, you want to move on. Consider that the less editing you do to your landing page, the better. You're getting a better ROI, not wasting hours of your time, essentially rebuilding the landing page from scratch. And as, as long as you go with a platform that follows existing best practices, the templates should be optimized to begin with. You want options as well, right? Some landing page builders organize their templates into type. So the squeeze page, the contact us, the pre-launch, the demo, and that's great. You want to have mobile optimization also. Mobile optimization is very important. I mean, you know, if you receive a lot of traffic from uh, mobile devices, you want to make sure that your landing page is actually set up the proper way. You want to have integrated A-B testing so you know exactly what's working and what's not working. You also want to have integrations in general. So you may love the landing page builder you choose, but unless you have a strategy to do something with the leads and customers you generate, paying a single dollar is really pointless. So this is an important element. Think about multiple user accounts also. 
So if your team needs to be able to work on their own landing pages fluidly and uh, easily, so you want to be able to access the builder from anywhere by anyone. So this is a, a crucial component of a landing page tool, which really works for all kinds of uh, modern marketing teams. So that's an important element to think about. So if you have to really uh, do these things yourself, you can really have a good ROI. And also there are some uh, features you wanna look for. You wanna have a simple drag and drop editor, features that improve conversion like countdown timers, color changing CTA buttons, you know, parallax images. You wanna have built-in website pop-ups. You wanna have a comprehensive analytic platform which shows you how your landing page is performing. So. Here is our selection, Unbounce versus Instapage versus Wix. Which one should you go for? Our choice is clear. We want to go for Unbounce. When it comes to a landing page strictly, you want to go with Unbounce. If you have the budget and you want to really have premium, high quality landing pages, go with Instapage. If you are looking for a more general, a more diverse provider, go with Wix. Wix is not really strong when it comes to landing pages because they do everything. But if you are looking for exclusivity, if you're looking for special uh, landing page skills, go with Unbounce. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, let's do a recap here. The bottom line is, when we think about Unbounce versus uh, Instapage versus uh, Wix, I give you the uh, the, the glance into the uh, in, into these services, and I also talk to you about the, the tactics and now the selection. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.